I thought I would share um, what I use for a palette and um, to mix my colors. It's not what, um, I'm not using any watercolor designed things. It's just something I found um, on Amazon, um, different dishes. They're all ceramic, which is really pretty cool. So these are little divided dishes um, that I've glued um, shelf liner, I'm not quite sure what it's called that I got at uh, like a discount store. It comes in a, a roll like this and I just cut it to size and then glue it to the back of these little, maybe they're called top of dishes, I don't know. I write the name of the color, of course that's kind of wiped out, in um, a Sharpie, which is permanent. It's pretty permanent on this, um, on the ceramic. I've got all my colors here. I can move them around. If I'm just using some greens, I can just move this over here to my work area and work on it. I set each one on a, um, a little half pan to elevate the top side so that I can have a wash down here. Um, when I spray it, I can mix the paint here and have a whole puddle here to dip from. I like a slanted palette. And um, then these are soap dishes that I've got ceramic soap dishes. And I do the same thing. I put the, um, the shelf liner, I glue it on the back. And these are rectangle, which is kind of cool because I can, when I'm not painting, I can just stack them like this and then come back to them later. And I don't have stuff sprawled out all over my desk, my table here. And to cover up the paints when I'm not using them because I have cucumber here I don't want her getting into, isn't she just the cutest thing? I don't want her getting into my paints. I've got this, all these little dishes on uh, the lid of a little plastic box. And I just lay this on top of the box like this. Now, if I needed to store this somewhere, I could close it. And as long as I kept it um, upside down like this, it would be perfectly fine. And this works really well for me. Um, I've tried all kinds of palettes. Um, I've tried the, the circular, like color wheel palettes um, with the mixing area, mixing area in the center. And I really, you know, I like having my vegetables on in separate little sections on a um, plate. I would eat out of a divided plate if I didn't look like a fool doing that because I really like having separate colors separate mixing areas and not having everything just go together. That's just me. And that's my quick tip of the day. Um, I hope it was helpful. And she's so cute. Look at that face. Look at her.